I kind of look like I have antlers. Let's see if I can get through this without the dog getting upset. <coughs> Haley, she has a thing for barking at SUVs. I don't know why. <coughs> Is the answer to being happy not worrying about being happy? Because if so, I really don't like that answer. Every year I like to make a New Year's resolution video called How to Be Happy in Given Year because I believe any New Year's resolution, that's all it's really about, how to be happier. For example, I could be happier if I just lost 20 pounds. I could be happier if I just worked really hard and got that promotion. I could be happier if I meditated every day. And you know, those may work and those may not work, but I guess the most important thing is to decide what your definition of happiness is. So that's my step one in how to be happy in 2017. Ding! Decide what your definition of being happy is. My current definition of happiness, I've decided, is making progress in life so that I can feel good about who I am. But making progress is kind of vague, so let's make my definition more specific. Which brings me to step two. Ding! Revise your definition of happiness to make it actionable, something you can actually do and work towards. So here's my revised definition. Happiness is making progress in my life by no longer believing false things about myself. Here are some examples of false things a person can believe about themselves. Nobody finds me attractive. I'm lazy and I eat too much. I'm too scared to go after what I really want in life. So how do we debunk these false beliefs? You have them because they feel true, meaning you've had experiences in your life that seem to back up these beliefs. And I can speak to how you get rid of some false beliefs because I've gotten rid of some false beliefs of my own. Here are some examples of ones I used to have and ones that used to really bother me. I'm heavier than I was in high school because I'm lazy. I only have short, very short romantic relationships because there's something wrong with me. Or even, I will always be the undoing of my own happiness. And how I stopped believing each of these things leads me to step three. Ding. Spend a lot of time with people who don't believe those things about you. It was really through surrounding myself with other people who had more positive beliefs about me that I was able to stop believing those things about me. Living with my best friend of several years who had a much more positive body image about herself and also about me is how I stopped believing I needed to go back to my high school weight. My current boyfriend of six months who doesn't believe there's something wrong with me is how I believed, oh, I can have a longer term relationship and those shorter relationships weren't because there was something wrong with me. Now you might say, but I don't have someone in my life like that. I don't have people who believe positive things about me. To which I say, you can go find one. I bet some of you know what I'm gonna say. Yes, I'm talking about a therapist. For me, the hardest thing to stop believing about myself was something I only was able to overcome through seeing a therapist, which was, I will always be the undoing of my own happiness. It might seem weird, but it really used to scare me because I felt like I was always the one getting scared if something was happy because I felt like it was boring. And the therapist helped me realize that a lot of it was just coming from anxiety. And it was a lot of hard work, but I would do it all over again because that's how much happier I am now. That was how I stopped believing that happiness equaled boredom, that a stable relationship equaled me growing antsy. I mean, I'm not done with debunking false beliefs about myself, so that leads me to step four. Start with the belief you want to debunk the most. For me right now, that false belief is, I will never finish the writing projects I care about the most. So this year my resolution is to open up to people who don't believe that about me. Writing teachers, I've already started to kind of talk about this insecurity and it's been very freeing. So I wanna keep doing that and I wanna write through the pain of the insecurity I feel. I'm gonna learn to be patient through the writing. Anyway, so that's my New Year's resolution. That's how I plan to be happier in 2017 than I was in 2016. Feel free to share your New Year's resolution below. Feel free to share a false belief you think you have about yourself that you'd like to debunk, that you'd like to work on not believing anymore so you can move forward, so you can make progress. Thanks for watching and I love you guys. Happy New Year. You gonna come outside, puppy? No? You don't want to sit next to me? You don't want to sit next to me. Now some of you might say, but I don't have friends or people in my life who believe those positive things about me. To which I say, Haley, why are you sniffing my butt? What are you, what are you doing?